Hello everybody, this is Nishi here and welcome back to our Icon Scout 3D series. In the last video, we learned how to add motion to our 3D objects and convert it to a Lottie. Now that you already know how to download assets from our Icon Scout platform and modify them in Blender, in this last video from the series, I'm going to show you how we can use assets from the Icon Scout platform to create various design mockups so that you can present the designs you have made in the way you like. So just head over to our Icon Scout platform and explore what device mockups you would like to use. Well, I, I really like this one here and I'm going to use this to display my design. Before proceeding forward, make sure that you keep the export of your design ready that you would like to insert in here. So this is the blend file that we just downloaded. Before we move forward, let's quickly have a look at its materials. You can go to your materials panel from here to have a look at the materials assigned. Let's also split our screen into two so we can have a look at the node setup. In order to do that, just navigate to shader editor from here. Over here, you can see the node setup of the material of the chosen object from here. We can get rid of the side menu over here by just hitting N on our keyboards. Before moving forward, let's also have a look at its UV layout. For that, for the same drop down over here, just click on UV editor. Currently, you can see that this part over here is blank and that is because we are in the object mode. In order to see the UV map of any object, we will first have to switch to edit mode and that can be done by pressing tab on our keyboards. Just make sure that your object is selected. In order to see the complete UV map, it is extremely important that all the faces of our model is selected. And we can do that by hitting A. As soon as we do that, we can see that our object just turned orange, which means all the components of our object have been selected. Now you can see the UV map right here. Even though you can see the map, uh, it doesn't seem perfect, so we will have to convert it before we move ahead. But I think before we move even further, I think instead of using this entire cube over here, let's just use the front planes because that's the only part of the screen that we need to display our design. So let's just choose the front planes here. In my object, the front plane is made up of two planes. So we will have to select both of them together. You can choose both of them together by holding down shift and choosing one face after the other. Once that's done, just hit P on your keyboard and choose separate by selection from here. Now you can see that our screen is a completely different object from the rest of the cube. Okay, now let's go back to our object mode. You can see that we have two completely separate objects now. Although we have separated out our front screen from the rest of its base cuboid, it still has some weird round edges over here. And I think that's probably because it has a modifier applied to it. Uh, we will have to go to our modifiers panel from here to check that out. Okay, you can see that there is a subdivision surface modifier applied right over here. To get rid of that, just click on this cross over here. You can see that our screen looks just fine now. Our screen, like mentioned before, is still made up of two faces. So let's go back to our edit mode and navigate to our edge mode from here. Now let's choose the edge separating these two faces here and hit X. From here, just say dissolve edges. What we did just now is we got rid of this middle edge over here and converted these two faces into a single face. Okay, now let us choose all our planes over here by hitting A and have a look at its UV map. Okay, uh, we can see the UV map over here, but it's still a little bit distorted. So to clean that up, let's go to this window over here and hit U. From this menu, instead of choosing just the unwrap option, let's say smart UV project. Uh, just say OK over here. OK, super. Now we have a nice, clean, perfect rectangular UV map right here on the side. We can totally work with this. So for that, let's choose the material properties from here. Let's also navigate to a rendered view from here so we can see how our screen is looking in the rendered view. 
we will also go back to our object mode by hitting tab um well i think we can get rid of the side window over here as we don't need it anymore for that we can simply hover over between the two views over here and just right click from here just choose join areas and collapse the one that you don't need let's have a look at our composition from our camera view we can do that by pressing zero so this is what our final composition is going to look like uh let's quickly go back and have a look at its material properties so now as you can see over here the material that has been applied to our screen is linked to seven other objects as well so if we add our image texture over here it's going to affect all the other objects too so let's just click here and unlink this material now this becomes an individual material by itself um let's quickly rename this to screen Now you can be sure that any changes we make over here will be reflected only on the screen and nowhere else. You can see that it still looks like it has rounded corners, but that's because the screen is colliding with its base object. So let's just grab our move tool from here and bring it a bit forward. Okay, now let's add a design to this. For that, we will have to add an image texture. To do that, under the base channel over here, click on this yellow dot and say image texture. As soon as you do that, you can see that this is turned pink, which means that we've not added any image to this yet. So, to do that, just click on open over here and navigate to the folder you've saved your design export in and just choose that image. Okay. Now we see the image, but it's still not in the right orientation. and we can take care of this by just aligning the uv maps for this let's go back and split this view once again and navigate to the uv editor from here with the screen selected let's go to the edit mode and hit a to select all the faces now let's just align this to fit our image perfectly for that we will be working in this view over here We can see that our vertex mode is already selected, so we can leave that as it is. Now all we have to do is first we'll have to rotate this by 90 degrees. To do that, let's select all the points. You can just draw a box around all the vertices that you want to select. Now just hit R for rotate and 90 to rotate it by 90 degrees. Perfect. Our orientation looks good now, but we can still see only half the image. In order to fix that, we will have to extend our map so it covers the entire image. For that, let's just click outside and deselect all the points and select only the points on this side. Now let's move these on the x-axis. For that, just hit G for grab and X to move it along the x-axis and take this all the way till the end. And that's it. Our image looks perfect now. Okay, great. This looks pretty awesome. Well, you can make any changes to this as you like. Maybe you could play with the lighting by selecting the lights over here. or change the color of your device or you could even add more devices with more designs the sky is the limit uh but for me i think i really like this one over here but just maybe to better capture the christmas vibe that we have going here maybe i'll just change the color of the sleeves a little bit so i'm just going to choose the sleeves over here and modify the color from the base color channel over here Okay that's that's great. I think I'm just going to quickly render this out and check how this looks. Okay, perfect. This looks pretty great. So that's it for this video and this series folks. Thank you so much for sticking with us throughout this entire series. Do drop a comment below if you found this interesting or helpful or if you have any questions as well. This is Nishi signing off. See you soon and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye.